In this lecture, we're going to talk about synthetic division. To begin with, let's recall long division. Here's an example from a previous lesson. Let's do another example. So this time we want to divide x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3 by x plus 2. Again, we're missing terms in our dividend, so we'll have to use zeros to hold their places. So writing this out using the division sign, we have x to the fourth plus 0x cubed minus 2x squared plus 0x plus 3 under the division sign, and x plus 2 being our divisor is outside. So again, what we want to do is we want to ask ourselves, what would we multiply the first time of the divisor by to get the first term inside the dividend? So what do we have to multiply x by to get x to the fourth? and that would be x cubed. So we go ahead and do that multiplication, x cubed times x plus 2, and write the result underneath the dividend. x cubed times x plus 2 gives us x to the fourth plus 2x cubed, and we subtract that from above. So x to the fourth minus x to the fourth gives us 0, and 0x zero cubed minus 2x cubed gives us a negative 2x cubed. We bring the next term from the dividend down, so we have negative 2x cubed minus 2x squared down here, and we go through another round. So ask ourselves, what would we have to multiply the divisor x by to get negative 2x cubed? And that would be negative 2x squared. So we go ahead and do that multiplication, negative 2x squared times x plus 2, which gives us negative 2x cubed minus 4x squared, which we're going to subtract from above giving us 0 plus 2x squared. We bring the next term from the dividend down, which is going to give us 2x plus 0x, and then we go through another round. So what do we have to multiply x by to give us 2x squared? And that would be positive 2x, so we go ahead and multiply that out, 2x times x plus 2, and write it underneath the dividend. 2x times x plus 2 gives us 2x plus 4x, which we'll subtract from above, giving us 0 minus 4x. We bring down the last term from the dividend, so we have negative 4x plus 3, and we go through one final round. What would we have to multiply our divisor by to get negative 4x? So what do we multiply x by to give us negative 4x? And that's going to be negative 4. So if we come down and do the multiplication, negative 4 times x plus 2 gives us negative 4x minus 8, which we will subtract from the terms above, which gives us 11. So the degree of 11 is less than the degree of our divisor, so this is going to be our remainder. So we have a quotient of x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 4 with a remainder of 11. Now, sometimes we'll be asked to write our answer in a special way. So in this problem, we're going to write it in the form of dividend equals divisor times quotient plus remainder. So x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3 equals x plus 2 times x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 4 plus 11. An alternative to long division for certain division problems is called synthetic division. To find the quotient and remainder when a polynomial is divided by a factor of the form x minus c, we can use synthetic division. First, what we're going to do is we're going to write the dividend in decreasing powers of x, and we're going to copy the coefficients using zero for the missing terms. Next, we'll write the value c to the left of the dividend coefficients and separate that by a vertical line. For synthetic division, we're going to use three rows of writing. So we have the first row with the coefficients that we've already written down. We'll leave the second row blank for now. The third thing we want to do is we want to bring the first number of the dividend down to the third row. So whatever that first coefficient was, write that down in the third row. Next, we're going to multiply the entry in the third row that we just wrote there by the value C and place that result in the second row in the next column. Now we'll add the new entry in row 2 to the entry above it, and then the sum of those two values we'll put in row 3. And we're going to repeat steps 4 and 5 for the remaining columns until we get to the end of the problem. 
The final entry in row 3 is the remainder for our problem. The other entries in row 3 represent the coefficients of the quotient, which will be a polynomial of degree that is one less than what we started with. Let's do some examples to clear this up. <laughs> Let's do an example to illustrate how synthetic division works. We're going to start by looking at the same example that we worked as long division on the first slide. x to the fourth minus 2x squared plus 3 divided by x plus 2. Again, for synthetic division, we're only going to be worried about the coefficients of our dividend. So the coefficients of the dividend are going to be 1, 0, negative 2, 0, and 3. And we write the value of c to the left of those coefficients. In this problem, c is equal to negative 2. And remember, that's because we're dividing by x minus c. So basically, we're going to take the opposite value of what we see in our problem. Since we have x plus 2, our c will be minus 2. We drop the first number in row 1 down to row 3, so that 1 will come down to row 3. And then we multiply that value by our c value. So negative 2 times 1 gives us negative 2, which we will write in row 2 on the next column. Then we add those numbers together. 0 plus a negative 2 gives us negative 2, which we'll write down in row 3. And we'll continue this process till we get to the end. So negative 2 times negative 2 gives us 4. Negative 2 plus 4 gives us a positive 2. Negative 2 times 2 gives us a negative 4. 0 plus negative 4 gives us negative 4. Our c value of negative 2 times negative 4 will give us 8. And then 3 plus 8 gives us 11. Since we've reached the end of our problem, this 11 is going to be the remainder. And the coefficients to the left are going to be the coefficients of our quotient. Since our original problem was a fourth order problem, or a fourth degree polynomial, the quotient will be third degree. And so our answer will be x cubed minus 2x squared plus 2x minus 4 with a remainder of 11. Let's try another example. This time we want to find x to the fourth plus x squared plus 2 divided by x minus 2. Again, we'll need to use zeros for placeholders for the x cubed and x term. And our c value this time will be a positive 2. We bring the first value from our dividend down to the third row. So we'll write 1 down in the third row. And then we'll multiply that by our c value. 2 times 1 is 2, which will add to the value above. 0 plus 2 is 2, which will multiply by c. 2 times 2 is 4, which again will add to the value above. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. 0 plus 10 is 10. 2 times 10 is 20. And 20 plus 2 is 22. Since we've reached the end of the problem, 22 will be our remainder. And the numbers to the left are going to be the coefficients of our quotient, which will be a third degree polynomial since we started with a fourth degree polynomial. So the solution here is x cubed plus 2x squared plus 5x plus 10 with a remainder of 22. One of the things that we can use division for is to determine whether or not a binomial is a factor. Um, with synthetic division, or any division actually, if the remainder is equal to zero, then what you've divided by is a factor. So for example, we want to see is x minus 2 a factor of 4x to the fourth minus 15x squared minus 4. So we'll use synthetic division to check this out. We write the coefficients of our dividend 4, 0, negative 15, 0, and negative 4. And we write our c value of 2 to the left of that. And then we'll start the synthetic division process. Bring the first term down and multiply it by c. So 2 times 4 gives us 8. We're going to add this to the term above. 0 plus 8 is equal to 8. 2 times 8 is 16. Negative 15 plus 16 equals 1. 2 times 1 equals 2. 0 plus 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. And finally, negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0. So this problem has a remainder of 0. 
And since the remainder is zero, we can conclude that x minus two is a factor. So our original expression, four x to the fourth minus 15 x squared minus four, can be written as four x cubed plus eight x squared plus x plus two times x minus two. For our final example, we want to determine is x plus two a factor of three x cubed minus x squared plus x minus two. Why don't you take a few minutes and see if you can figure this out and then continue the lecture when you think you have an answer. We begin by writing the coefficients of our dividend, three, negative one, one, and negative two. And we write the C value of negative two to the left of them. Drop the first term down and multiply it by our C value. So negative two times three gives us negative six. Add that to the value above it, so negative one plus negative six gives us negative seven, and continue the process. Negative two times negative seven is positive 14. One plus 14 is 15. Negative two times 15 is negative 30. And negative two plus negative 30 is negative 32. Since we've reached the end, this will be our remainder. We have a remainder of negative 32, so what does that tell us about whether this is a factor? X plus two is not a factor because we did not get a remainder of zero.